Hello, and welcome to Chem Talk. Today, we'll be talking about some of the most important trends that chemists regularly use to determine the most likely properties of atoms. In particular, electronegativity, atomic radius, electron affinity, ionization energy, and metallic character. So first, let's talk about electronegativity. Electronegativity is like a measure of how likely atoms are to be attracted to an atom. To find the periodic trend, we'll first look at how electronegativity of an atom changes as we go across the table, and then we'll explore how it changes as we go down, and we'll do this for all the trends. So, as we go across the periodic table, we know that the atomic number of atoms increases, which means that the number of protons in the atom increases as well, because we know that atomic number and the number of protons are representative of each other. As we have a greater atomic number, we have a greater number of protons. So as the number of protons increases, there's going to be a larger positive force concentrated in the nucleus, and so electrons are going to be much more attracted to atoms with more protons, meaning that as we go across the periodic table, electronegativity strengthens. Now as we go down, we know that as the number of energy levels increases, the nucleus becomes much farther away from electrons, and it becomes harder to attract them. This means that as we go down the table, electronegativity weakens. Now let's talk about atomic radius. Atomic radius is the distance between the valence electrons and the nucleus of an atom. As we go across the periodic table, the number of protons increases and the pull that the nucleus has on the valence electrons, which we can think about as the limit to how far electrons can go, increases as well. This causes valence electrons to get closer to the nucleus, reducing the atomic radius. As we go down the periodic table and add more energy levels to an atom, valence electrons can go a lot further from the nucleus. This means that the electrons aren't as limited in how far they can go, and so atomic radius increases because the valence electrons can go a lot further away from the nucleus. Now, let's talk about electron affinity which is the measure of the change in energy when you add an electron to a neutral atom. And as we go across, we know that the protons increase, and it becomes much easier to add the electron because the nucleus is already pulling it in. Therefore, it takes much less energy to turn the atom into an anion by integrating the electron into the atom. This means that there's a lot more energy left to be released since we only needed a little bit of energy to actually add the electron to the atom since the nucleus was already pulling it in. This means that the electron affinity is greater as we travel to the right. As the number of energy levels increases as we go down, it becomes much harder to add the electron because the nucleus has a diminished attraction to electrons because of the greater atomic radius. This means that there's going to be a larger amount of energy needed to actually integrate the atom, the ele sorry, the electron into the atom, leaving less energy for the atom to release. This means that electron affinity is going to diminish as we go down. Now let's move on to ionization energy, which is the amount of energy needed to take away an electron. And as we go across, as we have increasing amounts of protons, it becomes harder to take away electrons due to the high nuclear force exerted on them. This means it takes much more energy to take electrons away from protons, uh, from atoms with more protons, which shows that the ionization energy is going to increase as we go across the periodic table. And as we go down, we know that as we have increasing numbers of energy levels, it becomes a lot easier to take away electrons because of the reduced nuclear force and the larger distance from the nucleus, showing that as we go down the periodic table, ionization energy is going to ultimately decrease. And finally, last but not least, let's talk about metallic character, which is how much does an atom behave like a metal, or how easy is it to take away an electron, because metals are usually extremely reactive. And so as we go across the periodic table, as we add protons, it becomes a lot harder to take away electrons as we previously determined with the ionization energy trend, right? This means 
that the metallic character is going to decrease the further right we go because because um, your atoms become a lot harder to take away electrons from. As we go down the periodic table, it becomes a lot easier to take away electrons because of the large atomic radius, as the nucleus doesn't have such as big of an impact on our electrons anymore, meaning that metallic character is going to increase as we go down. And finally, here's a quick summary of all the trends we've explored in this video on the periodic table to show you visually how the trends are going to look. Thank you guys so much for tuning into Chem Talk, and I'll see you guys in the next video.